Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farm House, and today I'm gonna to be sharing how to make a scrap fabric pillow cover for the holidays. We're gonna be making a Christmas tree this time. And uh, what I've done is I've gathered up my fabrics, and some of these are fabrics I had left over from my patchwork tablecloth that I've shared earlier. I uh, added in some additional blues uh, because of my hydrangeas that I'm using in, uh, around the house this holiday. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and made strips of of the the fabrics just tearing off uh, the various colors here in strips and then we're going to be applying these to the um, pre-made pillow cover and we're going to have a Christmas tree when we're finished so let's get started I begin by placing the template inside of the uh, pre-made pillow cover and then I'm just gonna lightly trace the design onto the fabric. Yeah, I've traced the main pattern on, and as you can see, I went just a little bit beyond uh, on this bottom one because I felt like it was a little off balance. Um, but um, So you may wanna do that on yours if you've downloaded my template. I did not draw in these lines because I'm gonna wait until I've got this part finished and look at it uh, put together that way. All I've done is just took a plastic bag and put it inside of the um, pillow case, or not pillow case, but pillow cover, so that um, this will not stick as we're applying the fabric to it. Again, by cutting our strips of fabric in the different pieces that you want on your um, on your. Uh, pillow cover. So I'm using this fabric. I cut a little strip about right here and then I'm tearing these off. Uh, if you tear them, they would begin to twist a little bit and that's kind of the look you're wanting for this rag um, pillow cover. I decided it needed a little aging, so I stained the background of the tree with coffee. Okay, friends, I hope you love the pillow cover as much as I do. I just wanted to do, share one thing that I did learn, a little uh, caution that I will share with you. When applying, if you're wanting to add the uh, coffee stain to the Christmas tree itself, be very, very cautious not to oversaturate your fabric because if you do, it'll bleed out beyond the Christmas tree. I had to do a little touch up with some OxyClean, but it came right off and it looks great now. But I just want to um, make sure that you don't make the same mistake I did. I put it on pretty heavily and then it just kind of bled out in a few places. Um, but otherwise, I'm in love with my Christmas tree and I hope you are too. And I hope that you'll join me on my next adventures here at the Ponds Farmhouse. Thanks so much for watching.